Hey guys, welcome back to Bad Luck Garage. Some of you may have seen my videos on how to decap stock fuel injectors. If you haven't watched those videos, you may want to go check them out. It's an easy way to get a set of high flow injectors. Now there's a lot of stigma surrounding decap fuel injectors, a lot of skepticism. Uh, some of it's warranted, some of it's not. What I'm here to address today is one of those stigmas, and that's the stigma that decap fuel injectors are hard to tune. The truth of the matter is, as long as you've had them flow tested, they're no harder to tune than any other larger injector that you may put in. I'm going to go in here on the computer and I'm going to show you how simple it is to plug this information in. Okay guys, like I said, this is going to be a pretty simple process. We're going to go over here and we are going to open our file. We'll go ahead and open Project Steppenwolf 2 Bar SD. What you want to do is you want to go up here to the engine tab, go to fuel, general, flow rate versus KPA. Now you'll see the injectors that we did have in here, um, they were 29 pound injectors. These were actually some 8.1 injectors that uh, I had put in here from a 8.1 liter. Some people like to call them 31 pound injectors, but as you can see, there are only 31 pounds under 45 kPa of vacuum. This is why this is so simple, guys. You do not have to change anything here. Your voltage offsets, your minimum injector pulse, you don't have to change any of that because all that is going to carry over from the data of the injectors that you decapped, okay? So, um, you know, your injectors may be flowing 75 pounds now, but all this data, except for the flow rate versus KPA data, all the rest of this is just going to carry over. So you should not have to change any of this. The one exception to this rule is something that I'm going to show you in a few minutes that you may have to change uh, with some of the Gen 4, E38, or E40 PCMs. So the only important bit of data that we need right now is we need to know what our flow rate is on our decap injectors. Let's go out to the garage for a second and I will show you how to figure that out. So here's how you figure out what numbers you need to put in. I have here are the eight injectors that I'm going to use. The reason the numbers are not in sequence is because we flowed 16 injectors. These were the eight that were closest together. This is real simple. All you need to do is add up the flow rate from all of these injectors divide it by eight and that gives you your average static flow rate in my case the average static flow rate turned out to be 76.5 so now we're going to go plug that in now that we know our average injector flow rate is 76.5 what we're going to do is we're going to come in here to our flow rate table and like i said easy peasy um, if you have a return style fuel system then this is super easy for you or if you have a returnless system that you have installed a vacuum regulated slash boost referenced um, fuel pressure regulator you can do this as well in either one of those cases all you have to do is highlight your table here type in your flow rate which in my case is 76.5 that's it guys you're done all right, uh, as I mentioned earlier, all this other data is going to stay the same. Now, if you have a returnless style fuel system, this is where it gets a little more tricky because you have to scale your injectors. If you notice, you, you don't have the same flow rate all across through here. But again, we have an easy way to do this. This is an Excel spreadsheet that will scale your injectors for you. Now, this spreadsheet, I'm going to include a link. If you look in the description of this video, it's going to give you a link. When you click on it, it will automatically download this spreadsheet for you. Somebody, you know, if you're watching this video a year or two from now and you click on the link and nothing happens, just post a comment there and I may see if I can host this somewhere or I could possibly email this to you, you know, if the link's not working. But this makes it very easy. We just go up here. There's a couple things we have to change here from the way it was downloaded. You know, you want your uh, 
your fuel pressure obviously to just just be at 58 and you just input your injector flow rate right here well I'm having a hard time <laughs> so our injector flow flow rate was 76.5 and if you see down here it has just laid out the whole table you need so at this point all you have to do is highlight this table click copy and go back to your tune file highlight this table paste and there you go guys there is your scaled injector flow rate for your returnless style fuel system with no vacuum or boost referenced fuel pressure regulator if you're running a gen 3 pcm um you know uh 0411 which is a po1 or a p59 pcm that's really all that's involved once you do that um it's just a matter of doing your fine tuning on your ve tables or uh well in this case there's no math but uh you know your math sensor too if if you're still running a math tune which i'm not another issue you may run into though is with the larger fuel injectors uh, you may have an issue at idle with the minimum injector pulse width it may be putting a little too much fuel in at idle if you find that at idle you're running super rich and no matter how much you trim your fuel at idle it continues to run rich something you can do is go to your minimum injector pulse width here and you can start lowering this uh, you know by about 0.200 at a time so uh, just see how it reacts you know like it's a 1.322 so I would try 1.122 uh, if, if you still can't trim it out then lower this to um, you know 0.8 wait I'm sorry 0.922 you know 0 0.922 just just keep trimming this back uh, now if you if you get to the bottom you know you get down to where this is like 0.322 or something and you're you still can't trim it out then you've probably got another issue all right guys now I told you at the beginning of the video that if you're tuning a Gen 4, early Gen 4 PCM, like a E38 or a uh, E40, you may have another issue, and I'm about to show you that right now. So, what I'm going to do is, what? no, I don't want to save changes yet. We'll do that later. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to open the stock file for my 07 Avalanche. All right. Now if we go up here and look at our tune details you'll see this is an E38 now this is a problem you may run into if you're running these decaps in E38 or actually if you're running you know a really large injector of any kind in an E38 here's what you're gonna find a lot of the times now they're not all like this but a lot of them are this one is <laughs> for sure but when you go to open your flow rate versus pressure delta if you look down here you're going to see that this table maxes out at 63 pounds per hour so it is impossible to put 76.5 pound injectors in here won't let you do it see it maxes out right there at 63.5 so here's what you can do if you know you go to do this and you come to what there we go you come to find out that your flow rate tables max out at 63 pounds per hour what you're going to look at is this table here flow rate multi versus volts now what this table does is it is a multiplier for your flow rate table so this is your voltage across here so say you've got you know 63.5 pound injectors it is multiplying that by this which is 1.0 so right now it's just telling it that no matter what the uh, ignition voltage is you're going to be running at 63.5 pound injectors 
So this is the way you can fool your PCM into running a larger injector. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to find a multiplier um, to use in here to equate to this number. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to pull up your little calculator here and you're going to say 76.5 divided by the maximum that you can put in this table which is 63.5 and that equals 1.204 all right we'll, we'll just uh well we'll round that up to five because there's a seven after it there so if you take this 1.204 and you put that in your multiplier by voltage table, then essentially what's going to happen is at any voltage, you know, 5 volts up to 13 volts, which is what you should be running at, it's going to treat this injector as a 76.5 pound injector. What you're going to notice about this table, though, it is it is only capable of going up to 2.0. So technically, the largest injector that you could use this method to uh, kind of fool your PCM here would be like, you know, a, a 120 pound injector. You know, it's roughly double this flow rate. OK, so I hope that helps some people out. Um, hopefully. Uh, might have eased a little tension there if, if you were worried that these things were going to be hard to tune or if you're uh, wondering, you know, how to enter new injector data into HP tuners. If you like this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these videos in the future, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And um, as of right now, YouTube still got that little bell over there that you need to click on if you want to get notifications. So anyway, I'm going to get this video edited and uploaded, and I will see you next time here on Bad Luck Garage.